everybody, what is up? I am the Mac Mage, and in this video, I'm going to show you what to do if your iPhone just will not pair with your MacBook. So stay tuned. So apparently this is a common problem and so I did a little digging on the internet and I'm actually going to be sharing with you a solution by someone of the name RJ Borelli and I wanted to share this solution because it is a common problem but I didn't see any videos on it so I'm going to go ahead and share with you his solution and then I'm also going to put a link in the description for that page so just in case you guys have a similar problem but not quite this one you guys will know where to go to get some more support. Now his solution was originally done on a MacBook Air and I did this on a MacBook Pro and it seemed to work so I'm guessing that it will work for any MacBook iPhone pairing but I'm going to state that tentatively because I don't know so let's go ahead and get started. This is what I did just to make sure that everything was capable of connection. Apple icon on the upper left hand corner and go into system preferences. Then you want to go into sharing and make sure that Bluetooth is enabled here. Just as a precaution so that way you can share files uh, via Bluetooth. And then once you've done that, go ahead and go back into this panel here. Now if you do not see an icon um, on, of your Bluetooth status right here in your access bar, you can actually enable that here in the Bluetooth area. If you have any prior pairings between your iPhone and your iPod, uh, excuse me, between your iPhone and your MacBook, what you want to do is go ahead and um, take them off. You want to remove them. So if you turn on, if your Bluetooth device is off and you still see your iPhone, what you're going to want to do is first turn your Bluetooth preferences on. The next thing you're going to want to do is if you see this previous attempt at pairing that didn't work, click the X next to it and click remove. And you're going to want to do the same thing on your iPhone. Go into your settings and then into Bluetooth. Turn your Bluetooth on. And if your computer comes up, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, forget this device. And you'll do that by tapping on the little eye and then clicking on forget this device. Both devices are on and discoverable. As you can see my MacBook has picked up my iPhone but my iPhone is reluctant to pick up my MacBook. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back here just to make note of where your personal hotspot is on your phone. Mine is right here. Um, if you have a tethering plan or anything like that, it will it should be right here. Okay, um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to click we're going to click on our hotspot. It's right now it's off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click pair and once I click on the pair button, I'm going to make sure and turn my hotspot on. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna click on pair. and then click pair and then turn your hotspot on. If your device happens to connect at this stage then that's fine you don't need to continue any further. Mine will connect as you saw there however it will not stay connected which is why I'm using the hotspot method. So as you can see it's connected now. If you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to respond as soon as I can. If you guys find my videos helpful or enjoyable, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also share and like the videos as well, it really helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.